Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying multiplying by whole tens. Now first of all, I have here part of the multiplication table of 10. So let's fill it in and notice any patterns. 11 times 10 was 110, right? 12 times 10, 120. 13 times 10 is 110 more, right? So 130. And then over here, 140, because it is 110 more than that. Each time you add 10, right? What I want you to notice is that here, 19 times 10, we have 190, okay? It's like the 19, and the 19 is here too, but with a 0 added, so to speak. And the same here, 18, 18. There is, in fact, a shortcut for multiplying any number by 10. You take the number and then you tag a zero after it, like this, 10 times 78. Just write 78 and then write a zero after it. That's it. 65 times 10 is write 65 and write a zero after it. 10 times 60, write 60 and a zero. So we get 600. And then 99, Matthew's favorite number, yeah. Right, 99 and a zero, so 990. Now over here, we want to find out the area of this big rectangle. It means that we need to multiply 6 times 30. This side is 6 units long. This side is 30 units long. And of course, one way to do that would be to count all these squares, but what do you think, Matthew? He's saying that would take too long. Right. Another idea here is since I have 30 here, this way, I can add 30 and 30 and 30, right? I can add 30s. Another idea is I can add 60s. 6 here plus 6 plus 6 plus 6, repeated addition. But I want to show you a yet different way. And that is that I will divide this big rectangle into parts, into three parts, like this. From here, so that I have 10 here. And then here, so there's 10 and 10. So now I have 6 times 10 here, right? 60. Here's another 60 squares and another 60 squares. So we get 60, 60, 60. 180, right? I will also write this this way. Here I have 6 times 10, right? And then that I have 3 times. So it is 6 times 10 times 3. Let's go on and look into this idea a little bit more. If I have 6 times 70 to solve, there are several ways to solve it. One is repeated addition, just like I showed you with that big rectangle. I can take 70 and add it six times. Another one I show you, it's going to be a shortcut for us. And that is that I take this 70 and think of it as 7 times 10. So 6 times and then 70 will be 7 times 10. And now, in this multiplication, I will multiply 6 times 7 first. That's 42, right? So I will get 42 times 10. And now we have a shortcut for multiplying by 10, remember? I just write 42 and a 0 after it. So that's a really neat shortcut. You have 6 times 70. Just multiply 6 times 7. 42. And then tag this 0 in the end. Ready to practice a little? Can you solve these using the shortcut? 8 times 60. Go 8 times 6. 48. And then tag a 0 there. 7 times 70. 7 times 7 first. It's 49. And then a 0. This is super easy. What do you think, Matthew? Yeah. 50 times 4. Go 5 times 4. That's 20. And then a zero. And it does make sense 
4 times 50, you could even add 50, 50, 50, 50, you get 200. And 4 times 80, we get 32 here and 0, or 320. Now let's use our new skill to find the area of this rectangle. To find the area of a rectangle, you multiply this side times this side. 7 units times 50 units. And 7 times 5, 35. Tag a zero there, so we get 350 square units. And I didn't draw the squares, but I could have, you know, drawn lots of lines this ways and then this ways, and we could have gotten all those 350 little squares in here. Now I have a little bit of a challenge for you and for Matthew. Oh, he's getting excited. Here's a challenge or a puzzle. Can you multiply 24 times 30? Two big numbers, can you multiply them? And to help you, I drew this picture. Can you figure out how the picture will help you? Okay, so the task is 24 times 30. This side, 24, is here divided into four parts. So each part is actually just six, right? And now I can think of the area of this skinny rectangle here as being six times 30. How much is six times 30? It would be six times three and tag a zero, 180. That's the area of that. And so similarly also for these others. The areas are 180 square units. And so now I can just add 180, all of these, and I get 0 here. 4 times 8 would be 32, and then here. So the answer is 720. Did you get the same? I hope so. We're all done with this list.